Radiance Rail, TimberTech's premium, low-maintenance capped wood composite railing system. Radiance Rail is a beautiful, high-quality rail system that has no visible fasteners. It is available in a complete color palette of seven colors that can be mixed and matched to provide a customized railing system that will accent the beauty of any TimberTech deck. Railing is sold in 8-foot custom rail packs and can accommodate straight and stair applications. Rail packs include one top rail, one bottom rail, two support rails, foot blocks, hardware, and a template that makes mounting brackets quick and easy. Custom rail packs are available without the pre-drilled holes, allowing the installer to use multiple infill options. Metal balusters are sold in baluster packs for 36-inch and 42-inch heights and an 8-foot length. Baluster connector kits included in the baluster packs contain 40 connectors and 40 screws. Post covers, post caps, and post skirts are sold separately. And be sure to consider deck lights LED before installing railing. View the deck lights LED video for more details. Be sure to consult local building codes prior to installation. First, cut your post covers to the desired length. Place the post covers over the 4x4 inch posts. 4x4 inch posts must be plumb and be no more than 8 feet from center to center of post. Radiance Rail also works with TimberTech's secure mount post. Install skirts by sliding them over the post covers. Use the included template to install the lower support blocks. Position template at the bottom of the post cover, resting it on the top of the post skirt. Pre-drill the post cover with a 7 64th inch drill bit. Secure lower support blocks to post with two number 8 by 3 inch screws. Next, measure the distance from post to post near the bottom. Cut the bottom support rail to length. Position mounting brackets at each end of the bottom support rail, pre-drill with a 7 64th inch drill bit. Attach mounting brackets with the provided number 8 by 3 quarters inch screws. Install foot blocks to the bottom support rail. One foot block for a section up to 6 feet and two for a section up to 8 feet. Now position bottom support rail onto the support blocks. Pre-drill 7 64th inch holes through the post cover into the post through the holes in the mounting brackets. Secure bottom support rail using brackets with number 8 by 3 inch screws. To build the baluster assembly, determine whether there will be a space or a baluster in the center of the rail. Mark baluster locations on the center line of the bottom rail. A template is included in the baluster pack. Next. Pre-drill 9 64th inch holes at the marked baluster points through both the bottom rail and top support rail. To keep rails aligned, use a couple 2 inch screws. After ensuring the distance between posts is the same on the top and bottom, nest the bottom rail and top support rail. It is helpful to use a couple 2 inch screws to keep the baluster holes aligned while cutting these rails. Cut the bottom rail and top support rail to length. Position mounting brackets at each end of the top support rail. Pre-drill with the 7 64th inch drill bit. Attach mounting brackets with the provided number 8 by 3 quarters inch screws. Attach baluster connectors to both rails using the provided number 10 by 1 and 1 half inch screws. Place the bottom rail over the already installed support rail. Snap into place. Slide the metal balusters over the baluster connectors. Bring the top support rail into position and align each baluster with its respective baluster connector. Make sure the balusters are snugly seated on the baluster connectors. Pre-drill 7 64th inch holes through the post using the holes on the mounting brackets. Secure top support rail to post using the brackets with number 8 by 3 inch screws. Next, measure and cut top rail to length. Using a 3 16th inch drill bit, pre-drill four screw holes down through the top support rail. Attach the top rail to the top support rail with four 2 inch screws. 
finish off the railing system by placing the post caps on the post covers. If desired, secure using exterior grade caulk applied to the underside of the cap. 